As a competitive eating pro, Joey Chestnut is no stranger to pushing his body, more specifically his belly, to the limit. But even his biggest fans might be surprised to learn about the slippery, salty seafood that even he admits he's scared of. While Chestnut is most recognized for how quickly he can clean his plate of beef franks every year at Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest on the 4th of July, he has also clocked the fastest time for eating gyoza, pepperoni rolls, and shrimp wontons. Chestnut explained that he typically trains for about six to eight weeks for each food contest. However, he often has to do it while on the road because he travels so much for all the events where he competes. As Chestnut explained in an exclusive interview for Mashed, it's changed over the years a lot. For most contests, I have to put in a little bit of practice and try to build a tolerance for the food and a technique. The expert eater also divulged that doing a cleanse and yoga has become an invaluable part of his routine. I have about two days of no real solid food. There's some calories, but I'm stretching, I'm doing yoga, I'm making sure I'm loose and empty for the contest. As for why Chestnut continues to push himself and compete, despite breaking as many records as he has, he admitted, it's the best deal in the world. You get to eat and meet happy people and win. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with beating people, beating the other eaters. However, just because he's willing to push himself to the limit doesn't mean he'll eat anything. While promoting Pepsi's rollout of its new and sorta gross-sounding soda-inspired condiment, Cola Chup, the Kentucky native told us that raw oysters are something he's never eaten competitively. As he revealed, that's the only one that scares me because of the flavor, the saltiness, and the texture. I've never been sick during a contest, and that one I think, oh, it might push me over the edge. It is a weird thing. I'm scared of it. But I also want to conquer this fear a little bit. While oysters may be his kryptonite, wolfing down hot dogs dozens at a time now comes naturally to the competitive eater. But his inspiration began on a much smaller scale. In a house full of growing kids, he was one of a handful of hungry mouths to feed. This paved the way for Joey to turn a childhood ritual into international fame. When asked about the story of his brothers getting him into competitive eating, he said, It's absolutely true. I grew up in a family with four boys. We were all big eaters, but me and my little brother would compete against the older brother, and eating was the only thing we could beat them at. I was definitely doing more eating than my little brother and everybody. My older brother would make fun of me, and my little brother was impressed that I could eat. It started as something to entertain his siblings, but as time went by, Chestnut's brother had a thought. What if there was more to this than just impressing family members? Could this turn into something more? Chestnut explains, Eventually, when I was 21, it was when Takeru Kobayashi was dominating competitive eating, my little brother was like, Joey, you can do this. 16 Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs Eating Contest victories later, and Chestnut has cemented his status in the pantheon of gastronomical greats. The incredible eater has appeared on several different programs, including The Amazing Race and Man Vs. Food. But when we proposed the idea of popping up on another show, Hell's Kitchen and MasterChef host Gordon Ramsay immediately came to mind. He tells us, I did something with Hell's Kitchen, and I met Gordon Ramsay. He's a sweetheart. Whatever he is working on, I want to do it, because he knows food. He is amazing, and he'll set me straight if I have a weird food thought. I'm sure he wouldn't let me get away with it. Anything with him would be fun. Gordon Ramsay already has a massive block of TV under his umbrella, and will be the first to suggest a new one where Joey Chestnut tastes everything from the competitors, as long as it doesn't involve oysters.